Hello everybody and welcome back to the Pin Collector Channel. Uh, tonight I'm talking about Star Wars Galaxy Edge at Disneyland. Recently I had some peeps in the park so a big shout out to Corey and Elizabeth for sending me back some information and bringing me back some what I think are pretty cool souvenirs as far as Galaxy's Edge goes. But since this is a Pin Collector Channel, I'll start off with the pins uh, that they brought back for me which were really neat uh, the first one was actually a launch pin it says cleared for launch 531 19 star wars galaxy edge and i'll show you a picture of it here but i'll put a bit better picture of it up here as well so you can see it a little bit better uh, than what i'm showing right now so with Galaxy's Edge, I know that there's been several different trains of thought on this online. I mean, I see some folks who just absolutely love the immersiveness of this part of the park. It's not like any other part of Disney that they've been to before. There's no character meet and greets per se. Everything is designed more like you just become part of Batu so it's kind of a neat experience in itself i mean you the way my peeps in the park explained it and understand i have not been there myself uh, we are planning a trip to disney world after galaxy's edge opens up but as far as disneyland i've not been there and witnessed it myself but according to my peeps in the park little things like walking through and seeing chewbacca over looking like he's working on the engine of a starship or a stormtrooper coming up and randomly interrogating you about uh, what you know about the resistance. Um, or what you're doing with that data device if you're tapping on your cell phone, sending a text or whatever. So just neat little things to where the experience becomes just completely immersive for the little bit of time that you're in Galaxy's Edge. So anyway, I was really appreciative of that pin. Goes really good in my collection, and it's a really nice pin. And having the date of the actual opening day uh, is really neat as well. Another pin that they brought me is just a Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Disneyland Resort pin, and it has the Millennium Falcon on it. And there it is. I always never know where the camera's at, and but I'll put better pictures up. I know that the focus isn't too good with me just holding them up. And the third one, and I'll just put a picture of it up, is a Best in the Galaxy, and it's a little outline of the Millennium Falcon. So those three pins were really cool, and I'm very excited to add those to my collection. And again, thank you, Corey and Elizabeth, for that. But a couple of other things that they were able to bring back for me, and uh, I'm going to start with uh, the comic books, and then I'm going to end up with what is actually my favorite and probably there's billions of them out there excuse me uh, had to yawn a little bit there's billions of them out there i'm sure but uh it ended up being one of my favorite souvenirs from galaxy's edge but the comic books and the pictures of them are coming up here for you now uh galaxy's edge comic book number one which they were able to get uh, and you can kind of see the cover there with the classic Star Wars characters on it. And then Galaxy's Edge number one variant edition, which has a different color cover, which you can see up there. And then Galaxy's Edge number two. So those are the only two editions that are out right now. Number one with the variant cover and then number two. So a total of three that you can get that are a little bit different. And they were able to bring all three of them back for me. One thing that I really liked about the Galaxy Edge comic books, the way they were presented, was that if you just want to keep these as collectibles, they already come in a plastic with a cardboard backer so that the book stays nice and pristine and new uh, and you're able just to store them and keep them that way. But they are full comic books, readable comic books, lots of good art so forth and so on. 
And now to my favorite souvenir, which like I said, I'm sure there's a billion of them. I'm sure they don't cost anything. It's the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Merchant and Food Guide, the little pamphlet that they have uh, with the park maps and those types of things. This I really liked because it is so different. When you first open it up, and there's a picture of it opened up to just its bifold. On the one side, it has all the information on how you can build a customized lightsaber in Galaxy's Edge, which they're expensive. Uh, I know building a lightsaber is around $200 but it's not just building the lightsaber. There's a whole experience built around this activity. Not only are you going to take a lightsaber home, but you're actually going to immerse yourself in more of an experience in trying to get a lightsaber built under the noses of the stormtroopers and without getting caught it's really neat from what I've seen and what I've had explained to me it might be worth the $200 and the other side of the bifold when you first open it up is all about building your own droid assemble a custom uh, astromech unit or a droid and again they're very expensive as well but they explain that out also so very first parts of the brochure then when you go ahead and open the brochure up to its full four, four pages, number one, three pages of it encompasses a map of Galaxy's Edge, which is really cool. Like I said, one of the largest expansions that Disney has done, and uh, it's got a map that just highlights that section. Excuse me. So instead of getting a map of just, uh, let's say, Disneyland, with Galaxy's Edge being a little part of that map, they break it down and give you a map of just Galaxy's Edge. And you can see it all opened up there. Uh, kind of neat here. I'll open it up here too, and maybe you can see a little bit of it. Okay. So, within these four pages then it tells you all the different things that's in galaxy's edge obviously i mean everything first order cargo food the milk stand uh, the milk stand is where you can get that pink and blue milk uh, olga's cantina here is a uh, doc andar's den of antiquities is under the merchants docking bay seven food and cargo Ronto Roasters, Katsaka's Kettle, uh, the Resistance Supply Company, Creature Stall, Black Spire Outfitters. Everything you need to know about and where they're located at in Galaxy's Edge is in this pamphlet. And like I said, it's just so cool to me. And then the back of it, uh, is talking a little bit about the Disney Play app, which if you're going to Disney and you don't have this app, I highly suggest it. It's a lot of fun and uh, becomes very interactive for you and will take those line weights completely out of your mind uh, while you're sitting there on this Disney Play app. So uh, make sure and grab that if you're going into one of the parks. So that was, like I said, probably my favorite souvenir that, that was brought back to me. Oh, sorry again. That's kind of embarrassing. I'm just sitting here yawning. It has been just a long day. And they also brought me back because they are now Disney Vacation Club members. They brought me back the Disney Vacation Club uh, book or whatever you want to call it, which is kind of neat because uh, not only does it have Vacation Club information in it, this one actually starts with a picture of Galaxy's Edge. And it's called Disney Files Magazine, Summer of 2019. But it has things in it like recipes, and there's a story in here about Toy Story 4, very important dates for Disney World and Disneyland. There's just a lot of good information if you're a Disney fan to read through 
these Disney Files magazines. So uh, that was also brought back for me as well. So again, thank you uh, to Elizabeth and Corey for taking the time out of your vacation to think of me and bring these items back to me. Uh, I certainly enjoy them and they will become part of my permanent collection. So I hope you guys got a little bit out of this, got to see a few new pins, of course, as always, uh, but some of the other little souvenirs from Galaxy's Edge as well. And hopefully I'll see some of you guys down at Disney World uh, at Galaxy's Edge at some point. If you have any comments, put them down below. I'd love to hear it. What do you think of Galaxy's Edge? Have you been? Have you not been? Are you planning on going? Or are you not planning on going? I'd love to hear about it. Uh, also, make sure and like and share. And by all means, subscribe. Every subscription helps. And subscriptions are always free. Guys, have a great night. I'll see you again tomorrow with hopefully another pin.